Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is one of the worst movies that has been released honestly probably ever. It is terribly shot, horribly written, and thrown together in the most careless way possible. That is in a way what I call IP exploitation to the worst possible degree. Sure we get some you know remakes that ruin films and whatnot but to utilize an IP that just went into public domain specifically so that you can be as shocking as possible seems to be quite insidious and quite stupid and on top of that sadly works because the film did make money at the end of the day so much so that they've apparently created a like movie studio uh, out from under this movie and are going to be making more films in the vein of this IP exploitation type. However, that's not what I'm here to talk to you today about. Today, I'm just bringing you this really weird news story where essentially, apparently a teacher showed the film in a fourth grade class on October 2nd. So apparently over in Miami Springs, Florida, basically a teacher put out there for the kids to say, hey, which movie do you want to watch? I'm guessing he just pulled a bunch of Halloween related like kids movies. So he looked for things like Winnie the Pooh or other kids type stuff. And this one happened to come up. One of the theories, I guess, uh, as to why the person didn't realize that this wouldn't be good is because the film was released unrated however you'd think that for the most part uh, unrated would mean hey we probably shouldn't show this but so apparently the kids ended up voting for this film and the teacher put it on without looking into the content of it or anything and then allowed the movie to play for approximately 20 to 30 minutes the film is very clearly not Winnie the Pooh once you put it on for a millisecond it's like this weird grotesque version of Winnie the Pooh that looks just absolutely gross and honestly nothing like Winnie the Pooh. On top of that, it's not animated. It is just a like live action film. So considering that's the case, you'd think it would have tipped him off. And there are some murders literally right away within the film. Now, the bigger thing is that I just feel bad for these kids because they were fucking tortured with a terrible movie. I mean, you know, sure, you can say that they're too young to watch these types of slasher films. But in reality, I think anybody of any age that has shown Winnie the poo blood and honey will be scarred for life because of just how absolutely dog shit it is and I mean, hey, I guess this is a lesson to teachers in the future, you know, check into what exactly you're putting on for students because, yeah, obviously just because something says Winnie the Pooh in the title doesn't mean that it's automatically going to be appropriate. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that this was just like a crazy thing that will never happen again? Or do you think that we're going to start seeing more and more stuff like this happen if we especially continue to see more stuff like Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey released? Um, also, you can let us, uh, let us know if there's any other stories you want us to talk about down in the comments you can also follow us here for more movie news and reviews you can follow us on gaming sessions for gaming content movie sessions for movie trailer content and we have the tri podcast for our podcast channel uh, and besides that guys i will see you all in the next one Abducted by my brain and it drains all the dopamine Pain leaving nothing but the dreams that have been holding me Reality cracks and it falls at the openings Blasted out center just to see all the broken dreams Trapped in a trap to be feeling like an acid dream Feeling like I'm floor keeper casting me snitch on reality glitches Retaliate wish, turn the mountain upside down to a